good. In the moment, there are some times when you may be driving down the street and you just, you're not feeling good and it's hard to reach for a better feeling thought sometimes. Um, and now I realize that. But in the acknowledgement that I'm getting what I'm vibrationally aligned with, even that is helpful. In other words, if, if you will own it, if, if you don't feel good and you attract ornery people and you say, well, I'm a match to you. So welcome to my party. <laughs> it's, it's better than saying, I don't know how you got here. What are you doing here? Oh, okay. In other words, don't own resist it. that either. Own it, own it, okay. own it and say, I'm having uh, a step one moment with you. You yeah. remind me of my mother. In fact, <laughs> Which means I'm probably putting all kinds of wonderful things in my vortex, which I don't have the ability to benefit from right now while you're annoying me. <laughs> but I know that later on there will be benef benefit from this, from this interaction. Right. In other words, own it at least accept responsibility. Perfect. When, when we finally broke through with Esther and she really got this point of attraction thing. And sometimes uh, there would be a really wonderful be, because we want you we want you to focus upon this the the these vibrational rendezvous points where where people are buzzing around you and they're all they've all got their vibrational variety show going on and you have a particular vibration that's active which makes you line up with the part of them and 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 the part of them that's active in you have you noticed mm -hmm. you noticed that some days everybody's just rude <laughs> odd isn't it have you have you noticed some days that that that, that people are just really helpful in other words you have so much more influence over what comes around you and as you start noticing it then you begin to realize that as as you tend to your vibration instead of worrying about what vibrations that others have if you tend to your vibration and deliberately dominate your vibration by putting into the foreground something that feels really good and the way we would do that we would go to sleep with an intention to bask in something that is easy to bask on Esther focuses upon her pillow she got this new pillow which she really really loves she carries it with her everywhere she goes and the first night Jerry says I love you honey and Esther said I love my pillow <laughs> in other words it, it, it was the most important thing for several nights and she just <laughs> focused upon focused upon that perfectly contoured wonderfully smelling perfect in every way for her pillow and and as you find something simple in other words the pillow has never been bad to her <laughs> the pillow has never sent her a scathing email <laughs> that pillow has never let her down in other words it was it's just this neutral zone that was easy for her to focus upon its positive characteristics now that sounds silly but as you find something to appreciate, so bask your way to sleep, focus upon the deliciousness of the fabric against your skin, just bask yourself to sleep. And in the morning, when you wake up, lie there with an attitude of appreciation for a little while. And just those two deliberate functions will get you up on the right foot of vibration where it is then logical that of all of the variety show that was there before your likelihood of rendezvousing with something better feeling than usual is now certain so now you rendezvous with something better and you feel a little better now that you see that the the the, the reason we are enjoying this conversation is because because you have all of these potentially active in other words if you've been complaining about someone pretty recently that's a potentially active vibration if you've been worried about the oil spill that's a potentially active vibration if you've been basking uh, about something that you are enjoying that's a potentially active vibration so now you're walking out you're not a pure vibration you're not really only in sync with your source energy you've got a whole lot of potentially active vibrations going on within you which means there are a lot of potentially active 
little rendezvous points around every corner where you go because all this stuff's active within you or could potentially be you see you haven't practiced yourself way over there you've practiced yourself sort of all over the place so almost anything could happen in the beginning of this because be, and so maybe it's something that doesn't please you now the question is what do you do next so you rendezvoused with something that doesn't please you do you say oh of all this variety show that was potentially possible you came forward and I don't like you so much so I'm just gonna not talk about you I'm not gonna push against you I'm not gonna have a conversation when I get to mm. work about you I'm going to let you fade further into the background but in order to do that I've got to bring something else into the foreground because nothing goes into the background until something else comes into the foreground so now if you try to find something positive about that you probably won't it'll probably just amplify its negative wow. to you but as you choose something else that it, you might focus on how good that pillow was the night before in other words as you choose something else then something else comes into the foreground now you are more deliberate you have more definiteness of purpose than you did just before you've got a better handle on your vibration than you did just before you are more determined than you were just before and now a whole other set of potentially active things marches forward while the formerly set of potentially active things marches backwards are you getting the sense of this your point of attraction has shifted and now a whole different spectrum of a whole different set of personality traits maybe even a whole different set of people is now available for your rendezvous point so now you're moving through your experience and there you are you're percolating that vibration you're sending it out to the universe the universe the law of attraction is lining up things that match what's active within you so now something else comes forward and you get to decide is this good feeling enough for me should I stop and pause and make it even more active or is that yet another thing that I would just as soon marches into the background of my vibration and what would I like to bring more further forward you're following uh, until day by day it's like peeling the layers of an onion you begin to deliberately on subject after subject state your preferences by a better said practice your preferences by deliberately focusing by having conversations with yourself about them until before you know it you're walking through this life experience and only the brightest clearest nicest potentially creative rendezvous points are even shown to you people who watch you say were you born with a golden spoon in your mouth were you blessed with uh, how how does this happen do we really have equal access to the vortex you f you seem like you're getting more than your fair share <laughs> of good stuff from the vortex right. do we really have equal access to the vortex right. because because your life sure goes better than mine and you could say and they might hear it and they might not I practiced myself here I little by little brought to the foreground more good feeling things and and just let the not good feeling things decompose from inactivity in my vibration perfect it is